how long do you want me to keep this card in my house before I throw it out? This is one of the funniest skits I've seen in a while, but let's talk about this for real because the reason why it's so funny is because we've all asked this question. I'm a very sentimental person and words of affirmation are my love language. So a really sincerely written like long card goes a long way with me. I've gone on records asking boyfriends, just forget a gift for an anniversary. I just want a really long card. And I do save those, but we all know the ones that are just like to so-and-so love so-and-so We're not we're not keeping those But I acknowledge that a lot of us are really terrified of like reverse Marie kondo our house and just becoming hoarders that end up on TV So I have a solution for you that I've been doing for a while I've started taking pictures of the insides of cards not all of them, but the ones that really mean something to me. If you want to save them too, fine. But sometimes you just want to look at somebody's writing and have something that reminds you of them. And somebody's handwriting is very, very special and unique to them. And it can actually really evoke a lot of feelings rereading old cards, especially the ones where somebody really took the time to write them. Maybe this is weird, but I've also taken photos of cards that I filled out for other people that were really sentimental so that I can remember how I felt about them at the time, especially with things like exes and stuff. Or it, it, it can be nostalgic healthy i'm not so sure nostalgic yes so yeah just start taking a picture of your cards and and then promptly throw them away you're welcome